Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in and coming back and watching. I appreciate it. I hope your day is going really well. I've got a workflow video here in Luminar 4 using the Sky Replacement Filter. I'm still having so much fun with this thing and um, I'm looking forward to you guys having it, which is about a month from now, um, as I understand it. So things may change. However, it's coming soonish, right? So um, just to whet your appetite a little bit more, I thought I'd share this photo. Here it is. This is just an iPhone snap from Whale. So not exactly high resolution or anything like that. I just pulled over the side of the road and I loved the look of the clouds and the light, how it's kind of hitting the valley and the rocks and just everything was cool, except yeah, you've probably experienced this as well. And, and you know, I say iPhone, you may have an Android, whatever, but um, same difference, right? With a mobile phone uh, camera, you know, they're okay, all right? They're not amazing, they're not terrible, they're a lot better than not having anything. Um, and though I had my gear with me and took some photos, I had this iPhone shot and I was looking at it and I was like, you know, that'd be a good one to replace the sky in because one of the challenges with mobile photography is balancing that exposure, I think, right? So um, I, I felt like, you know, even though this was just a quick snapshot, I was like, you know, let me just play with it and see what I can come up with. And I came up with that um, and I was having a lot of fun doing it. So what I'm going to do is reset these filters and then jump into uh, showing you this workflow in Luminar 4. Okay, here we are. So uh, Luminar 4 is in beta still, as I've said to you before. So I just wanted to restate that because things may change from what you see in this video and what actually um, is available at launch. I don't know if it's gonna change. And if it does, I don't think it's gonna change significantly, but I have no idea. So I just wanted to be clear, it is in beta. So as you can tell, the first thing I did was replace this guy. And I actually recommend if you're thinking about replacing this guy, do that first. And um, the reason why is, I'm gonna get into creative, which is where AI sky, sky replacement is. And the reason why is part of when you do that, it'll start to rebalance the light for you. So let me just go in here. I use dramatic, I gotta look at my notes, dramatic sky number three, and there you go. Now, if you look at the, the shadows and all that in the foreground, the part that stayed, um, I don't know how different it is. Maybe it's not very much different, but um, relight scene has been um, adjusted, right? It defaults to 20. And so if I put that at zero, you can see it's, it's you know, it's not a huge difference, but uh, let me get back to 20. You know, it's a little bit. And so that's why I recommend replacing this guy first because all your subsequent edits are gonna be uh, like contrast and things like that that you do later are gonna impact the entire photo. Um, so I like to just put in a new sky and then move on, right? So that's that's my two cents. Um, let's see, horizon blending, I left at 20. Uh, Relight, I left at 20. And global, I left at 30. So let me hit advanced settings. Close gaps at 10 and sky local 25. Okay, so I did not adjust any of those, uh, but I did flip sky. So there's this really cool little tick box here. You can just click flip sky. And as you can see, it flips the sky. It does a basic uh, 180 on the x-axis, so it flips it around horizontally. So let me flip it back. That's the default sky, and I like the rays coming down here. I thought that was cool, but I also liked um, here where the rays are kind of coming down kind of on that left edge of the mountain, which kind of hits there. But I also liked that it was open um, here, kind of light, and that kind of, to me, worked in well with the light in the valley there. So let me flip it back one more time. That's the default. The light's coming down there, but all these clouds here, you know, they, they're probably further back in the distance in this valley, but I don't know, I just kind of liked it flipped. So that's a cool little trick you can do to flip the sky around. And that got me to my base uh, photo, right? Which is always, uh, I mean, already much better. And truthfully, it's not a significant amount different than what I had. I had a cloudy one, a bit more blue with white puffy clouds, which of course are blown out. Um, this is cloudy, not white puffy, but sun rays coming through. So, you know, I'm, I'm in the realm of art anyway. I'm not trying to say this is what I saw and I'm not trying to justify that, hey, well, I put in a sky that's kind of close because, I mean, it's it's of the same, it's in the same ballpark, kind of, but regardless, it's a new sky and I'm having fun with it. So the next thing I did is I went over to Pro and I got Advanced Contrast. And so this operates like it did in the... Um, previous version, right? So I'm going to go ahead and bump up contrast and highlights. And I've got to look at my notes here. Contrast and midtones, I went really high there, uh, 79. Uh, and I added a little bit of balance. So it's going to give you, it's almost like a boost, right? It airs a little bit more towards the midtone contrast. And then shadows contrast, I did about 19. So let me show you just that filter. There's the before fairly flat, which is actually okay. I prefer my photos to be kind of flat. Um, 
once I have, it's about the lighting, right? So I want the lighting to be kind of flat before I start adding contrast. And with the contrast now, I think it's already a much better looking photo. Um, but of course I'm not done. So I'm gonna add the adjustable gradient. So again, that operates the same as it does in the previous version. I'm gonna set the orientation. And in this case, I tilted it a bit like that. Let me see here. I'm just trying to go slow. And I pulled this in a little bit. Let's see. Let me pull that in. And then I'm gonna move this up a little bit. I had it about like that, kind of on the mountain range line there. I'm gonna say done. If I could hit done, there we go. Now I'm gonna make some adjustments. So I gotta look at my notes again. For top, I took the exposure down by, whoops, uh, about 16. So there we go. Uh, I added more contrast. And now again, this is just affecting the top. So that would be above that line that I drew along the mountains. So I'm in the top of the photo. And warmth I added of about 31 because um, I wanted to warm up the sky a little bit. And you'll see I actually changed that a little bit later. Uh, next, I went into bottom. So now I'm below that line uh, that i drawn um, or placed. And I'm gonna say like about negative 31 on exposure. Just trying to darken that foreground a little bit. Add contrast of about 30. There we go, and that's it. And so, so at that point, I, I was actually really happy with the photo. I was started with that iPhone shot, blown out sky. I think a beautiful scene, but um, you know, needed some work. And now with the new sky and the flip and the adjustable contrast, or excuse me, advanced contrast and adjustable gradient, I've gone to that. So from there to there, I'm feeling pretty good. But this is where I kind of said, I don't know if I'm done. And so I sat on it and I decided to come back. And so what I wanted to do is. Because I like that, I like to add new layers to start a new. So you go up here to Layers Panel, and you say Plus, Add New Adjustment Layer. And now I'm gonna get in here to the Essentials Filter category. And I'm in Light. And this is where I kinda of go back a little bit on what I did before with the warmth in the sky. I'm gonna go negative 23, I think it was. Uh, yep, yeah, so there's 23, and the tint of about six. So there we go. Um, that's changed the sky a fair amount. Let me, um, here we go, let me show you that. So there's without it, and there it is with it. I like it a little bit better cooler, so I went back into that, so that's light. Uh, and then once again, I went over to Pro, and I'm in Adjustable Gradient, and here I did not adjust the, the gradient orientation. I just left it the way it was. In the top, I added a little bit more, con oh, not that much, I added a little bit more contrast, like a, I think a 14. And I took the highlights down a bit, so like down about 28. Then in the bottom, I just went to the bottom and I increased contrast to about 20. And there it is, that's a finished photo. So let me show you the before and the after. And uh, I'll show you the sliding scale. You can see, I mean, we made quite a difference in the photo. And now the truth is I may go do some other things to the photo, but I mean, I think the greens and the yellows in the valley are vibrant. Um, I think the rocks look good. I could come in with AI structure, um, you know, if I wanted to, which is over here in Essentials. Let me go to AI structure, maybe bump that up a little bit to give a little bit of crunch to that land, which uh, you just saw that come on, right? Let me show you that again. There's before. If you look at the rocks and some of the valley, it's a little bit less crisp. And after, now it's a little bit more. I, I think that looks beautiful. Now I'm biased because I took the photo and I just made this version of the photo. Not real, new sky, I admit it. Um, but I was able to take a really a blown out sky throwaway iPhone shot and turn it into something that I liked this quite a bit, to be honest. Like, um, I don't print my work really hardly at all, although I need to. And I, I really, actually, I want to. I just need a place for a printer and, you know, a printer, um, a good one. Um, anyway, but like, I look at this and I'm thinking, God, like, that would. You know, maybe I'd come in with the eraser, which by the way is up here. There's tools, you can click on that to get to eraser. But I'd come over here and probably pull out some of those things and pull out that road, maybe clone and stamp a few things just to kind of make it a little bit more natural. But I love the look of this photo. So that's my finished product. So that's how it works, my friends. Again, we're in beta, so some things may change. I showed you a little bit of workflow. I added a new layer. I did a couple of filters. Um, I don't know if that's going to look different or operate differently upon launch because we're in beta. So I just wanted to clarify that if I haven't made that clear enough. 
Um, but that's it, my friends. Just a fun, quick, simple sky replacement, which, as you can tell, I mean, the sky replacement is, uh, it looks pretty sweet. I mean, if you zoom in here, I mean, you can look at that sky replacement. I just think it looks fabulous. So I'm going to go back to fit to screen. Um, and that's my photo and my workflow. So Luminar 4 is coming soonish, and you're going to have your hands on this hot little mama, and you're going to have fun with it, I'm sure. I hope you enjoyed this video. I do appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up down below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all those kind of things. And I appreciate it, my friends. Hope you're having a great day. I'll see you soon with more videos. Take care and adios.